Johnny, you got on you. Yeah. <laughs> it's closed. <laughs> Coach, you it's have, a good move. You have scored and scored big every place you've been. How are you going to bring that offense to Maryland? Well, I tell you, we got a lot of really good players. I think the job that Coach Dirk and the staff did recruiting has been amazing. So we got a lot of talent. I'm, I'm excited. You know, today was day one. We're going to figure out who we are, what our skill set is. I think that's something that, that is important is what everybody can do well. So I don't have the answer right now, but, I, you know, we're going to certainly work very hard to continue to score points. Matt, how would you, how would you describe your system or your philosophy? And, and score how you, points. Okay. I mean, I, I mean it's, a, it's a silly answer, but that's the answer. I think everywhere we've been, we've done a little bit different, right? We've had multiple backs at one place. We had two really good quarterbacks at one place. We threw it a whole bunch at one place. So um, I, I, we take pride in finding what our players do well and maximizing the talents of the players we have at that time. So we certainly have a system, you know, the way we call formations, the way we call plays, but the offensive run every year has been different based on, you know, what guys do well. And I think that's our job as coaches. Terp Talk is brought to you by Viner Four Gates Consulting. Call Viner Four Gates for all of your IT needs. In the D.C. Baltimore area, you could reach us at 301-251-2900 or on the web at www.vinerforgates.com. How is the potential of this talent, especially with the quarterback situation, match up with other places you've been? You know, it's early to say that for me right now. I mean, obviously, I'm excited about the guys we have. I really like how hard they're working out. We had a great day today. Um, so they're trying very hard. I mean, it's always changes, changes what it is, right? So I think they're doing a great job learning. Obviously, we get, you know, we've got a couple of guys who are very young and very talented. Max did a great job today. Tyler did a great job today. Legend played well. So we're, we're working through it all right now, but I think we've got some guys at quarterback. After watching tape and um, you know studying last season and what you see here here today, what encourages you about this offense? What do you think you guys do well? Again, I'm, I don't want to pigeonhole it too much. I think up front we got a lot of guys coming back up front. We've got a couple guys out right now. We think about the, the strength of our offensive line. Anything, you know, to me that's it, right? If you can block them, and then and your skill set says throw it, you can throw it. If you can block them, your skill set says run it, you can run it. If you can't block, it doesn't really matter what your skill set is. So I think that's where it always starts is up front. I think, I think we got a lot of depth at running back. When you look at those guys and what's coming back, a lot of talent on the edge, some younger guys and a couple guys coming back that are really good. So I think it's all around the board. Uh, it's just, I, you know, I don't want to, I'm, I'm early in the game. I mean, I, I certainly watch all the film, but it's really more when you get out here and kind of see what they can do. And I, I was very excited today what we did. In terms, of, in terms of what you've seen from the two quarterbacks who are out, mm -hmm. Do you start thinking about what you can do with them once they're healthy, or do you? Do you... Well, we're, what we're going to do, you know, obviously the skill set of each quarterback is unique with the guys we have, right? I mean, you got you guys know these guys better than I do at this point. You've seen them all. So one guy, we got guys who are throwers, more drops. So the beauty of that is we're going to put it all in right now, put our system in, and then whoever becomes the guy who's a winner, the guy who's a student of the game, and the guy who's the most accurate will be the quarterback. And then we'll run the plays based on who gives us the best chance to win. So, uh, yeah, I mean, to answer your question, I'm aware of what those guys do well, and we're, we're going to pay attention to that. What was it about Marilyn and DJ that made you want to go? It was, it was uh, obviously a lot with Coach Durkin, and we have some mutual friends. I'd met him a little bit here and there and crossed paths, but never spent a lot of time with Coach. But, you know, we've got some, some mutual friends who have always have always talked about him, and, and, uh, and that was the draw for me. In your short time here on campus, is there anything that's kind of taken you by surprise that you didn't expect with the team or the area or anything? No, I mean, the players have been, I mean, Coach, we obviously in the process, you talk about the players. So I knew they were going to be good guys and all those things. Obviously, our facilities that we're, that we're putting together are, are unmatched, right? So I think that's, I don't want to say I was surprised, but that, that facility is going to be state of the art and the best in the country. So that's oh. awesome. You bring with you <clears throat> someone else from LSU, you know, kind of focus on the tight end. Um, tight end wasn't really utilized much here last year, so right. how important is that for you um, moving forward here, Maryland? Well, we've used, you know, I think if you look at our tight ends over the last few years, you know, we, they've caught a lot of balls, been very involved, but it goes back to who, who deserves to play. I think that's the challenge we've given to our players. You know, do we need to play two or three backs at one time? Do we need to play four wide outs, three wide outs, two tight ends, three tight ends, um, six linemen, you know, to whatever. I mean, it's. I think that's what I think we've done as, as where we've been and, and has worked on that. So obviously, you know, you bring bring guys you know, but it's more about who who shows up and who's who does you know who wins the jobs. You, 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 you're, if you look at your career, I think it was like first 17 years you were at three different places. Right, had it figured out. 
And, and then the last three years, you I mean, you spent three years at NC State, but yeah, is there a reason? I mean, is it just circumstances? Every or? every every situation is different. There is circumstances. I mean, I think sometimes you know, I, I I don't you know, as you look at that, you know, you would say it. It's funny, but I don't I don't like change. I don't like moving. So that doesn't look the way it is. I mean, I was there was a couple opportunities in those that came up that you thought were those those opportunities that you had to try to jump at. Other times it wasn't necessarily. Um, the circumstances were, and there was different ones everywhere we've been. So, um, you know, it is like you said early on there we were we were going pretty well, and then there's been more change. So everyone's been great. I've met great people everywhere, and, and I think as I look around, and my daughter has said it best. I mean, all the moves we've had, it's been an awesome every place we've been. So how old is she? She's a sophomore, in South Carolina now. So she had to go through it. My son's a senior, and he's finishing up high school down in North Carolina. So he was we he decided to stay there, which was best. And uh, but they've. You know, and it's not easy. Our profession, for me, you come in, you coach, you do your deal, but for your kids, and uh, it's a challenge. But they've, they've actually made it better for me, and, you know, telling me all the things they've gained from me. So it's really, I'm very, very blessed. What's exciting that you've seen on film from uh, picking up and seeing? You know, on film, I don't know. They're bold. They run around, do a lot of stuff. I like them a lot. I'm having a lot of fun with those guys. We laugh, and it's been good. So they don't do anything right now except work out. But um, they're learning the offense well, and I just they're fun. We see. You know, he, his, his knowledge of the game, he went through, I was asking players on teams and all over, he had it all, and Piggy and I just, we laugh and have a good time. So I'm, I'm, I'm enjoying it, I'm enjoying it. Coach, are you a guy that uh, coaches from the box? Or are yes, you sir, a, I'll be in the box. Okay, do you script the plays or you go with uh, the We'll sometimes script the first the first few there. Just, you know, you can always get off script pretty quick, but we'll have an idea early on and, and, then, and then go from there. But the first, first 12 or so, we'll have an idea. I don't know if we've ever stuck to the 12 the whole way because obviously you get third downs or field position and those things. But we'll, we'll have a, we'll have an idea we want to get to early. That just in terms of learning all the kids and getting all the kids, is that a, just a daily thing? Or yeah, it is. I mean, I, you know, I'd be I would be just I mean, I'm trying because it's you know trust is earned, not given. And I think you come in and hey, we're best friends. And you're gonna trust me? Come on, man. You know, it doesn't happen that way for them. So I try to ooze my way in and let them see me. Today was probably good for them. I'm sure they're in there going, whoa, what was that or what's this? And that was different or that's the same. So I think that takes time. I think I've always had an ability. I think I you know, feel pretty good about the way I've coached and the kids I've coached and my relationships. But I don't, you know, I don't come in and just say, hey, we're all, we're going to love each other right now. You have to, you know, and I just don't think that's the way the world works. So we're working on it all the time. And my position, it's different. Uh, you know, like Coach, Coach Turk and talked about it then. You got to take, you know, coaching isn't criticism, it's coaching. And I think they got to know I care about them before they understand that. So there's, there's, you know, there's a, there's a learning curve on that. Me and them both. You know, some kids like, you know, say like, but some kids you can coach a little harder. And, and that's not the right word. Some you know, louder. Some kids need to coach harder, but in a quiet. I mean, everybody's different. It's like all of us. So there's, there's a learning curve to that. Is there, anything, the, is there anything you've done in your time on campus now to try and build those relationships with the kids outside of just practice? I'm with the quarterbacks and I went to dinner. You know, we do, we do some of those things like that. But really, it's been, it's pretty, I mean, it's March the 5th. So, I mean, I got, I don't know what day it was, but it wasn't that long ago. So it's been, it's been mostly work. <laughs> we're, we're working at it. But it's, you know, we're having fun. And, and, and I guess it'll, t it'll, it'll, it'll work itself out. In terms of running backs, um, they played multiple running backs, you know, had a system of shuttling guys in and out pretty much. Are, are you of the same belief that? Best player plays. We, it's about when, I told him, you know, it's about when it, you know, sometimes it's who's hot, sometimes it's, you know, the situation, the team we're playing, what they give you. I think that's a lost art a little bit. You know, it's not like every week you run the same plays. Every week you run the plays, you, know, you find Waldo, whoever the weakest player on their team is. Every team has one. I don't care if you have to go play the, you know, the world champion Eagles tomorrow. We would have to look and say, who do we think gives us the best chance to move the ball, even though they're in the NFL? And I think that's what we do. So every week it's a little bit different. Thank you, Coach.